Gabbit Media. Okay, what I'm going to take you through now is uh, slightly more complex modelling, and it, really this is the way it should be done. You very rarely take shapes and push them together uh, to make a model. You actually start editing the vertices, faces, and edges in the shapes. So this is what we're going to end up with. This is very, very basic still. Uh, but hopefully this will give you an intro, so this is like a person's torso and you can go a bit further and hopefully add the legs and um, start editing it so it actually looks a bit better So, that, but this is what we'll end up with after our sort of five minutes or so so I'll start a new scene uh, new scene and we've got our um, cube again so I'm going to use this cube I'm going to scale it down a bit, uh, move it up and I'm going to uh, make it sort of um, an oblong shape so scale the X in and I'll scale the Y in as well. Scale. So I'm pressing S, then Y. So I'm scaling it in. And this is going to be their head. Okay, so I'm, I'll move it up. Uh, and again, I'm moving around the scene using the middle mouse button to rotate round. Shift to move across like this. Okay. Now, uh, there's the basics of my head. Okay. This is this is the the big um, the, the, the 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 brilliance of uh, modeling. Uh, you can go into this shape now and start editing it. Okay, if I press the shift key, um, that puts me into edit mode and your, your controls along here change. And what I can now do is select things like the vertices uh, and the edges. If I, pre if I go down here, I can press the select the edges and I can shift select the edges if I want to and start moving them around. Um, or I can select the vertices um, here and start moving those around. You can get to that menu by pressing Control Shift, and you can choose what you want. So that's Control Shift. So if I want to choose an edge and move it around, um, I press um, on that edge, and you can press. Um, let's say I want to go to uh, vertices, and I want to shift select a couple of vertices. That's the same as choosing the edge, but that's how we move them around. Okay. So what I'm going to do to create my head um, is um, get the faces, select the faces. So Control Shift and then choose faces and I'm going to pull this one out and you pull it out by pressing extrude so E for extrude and you can move it and it will ask you um, pull it where you want and you right click when you're so you click left click when you're happy okay and if you're not happy with quite that you can move it further with your um, options there but I'll undo that I'm happy with it as it is so that's quite simple so that's the front of their face and I'm going to do their neck here by pressing E to extrude and pull it out slightly and left click. Okay, to say yeah, I'm happy with that space there. Okay, then so that's their neck. Uh, pull it down a little bit more. And again, it's really basic. Extrude again, and I'm going to do the um, their torso. So there's their um, sort of chest there. Okay, and obviously the chest is a lot wider than this. And I'll grab this one, extrude it, and and pull it out. So I press E to extrude this one, extrude, pull it out. Okay, so you pull it out and then you press the left mouse button to say where you're happy with it. Okay, if I go, this one needs to be a bit further, doesn't it? Okay, so I've got a torso now, uh, well, I've got a, a chest. And to create the rest of the torso, I can extrude this and pull it down. And what I'm thinking is that needs to be scaled in. So I'm pressing S, then Y, and it will scale all of them together. Whatever selected will be scaled together going to extrude that again, pull it down, you can start seeing there's some sort of waist now. I'll pull that in a little bit more as well, scale Y, pull that in a bit more. Okay, so there we go. You can see that it's not the best, and maybe the chest ought to come out a little bit more. So I'll select these three here, and just pull it out. Okay, so there's their chest pulling out a bit more. Their back probably needs to come out a bit more, because more sort of barrel shaped people are, aren't they? There we go, like that, very basic. Uh, very simple. In fact, I think these two are a bit wide. He's got very massive shoulders at the moment, so I can scale those in uh, with the Y, scale on the Y axis. Okay, and that will pull them in. Like that. Okay. Um, right, now I'm going to create an arm. I'll bring an arm out here, so um, that's a very wide arm, actually, isn't it? So I'll, well, I'll extrude that, bring it out, and then scale it on the Z axis. Uh, scale Z. Okay, and bring that up, and that's kind of like a shoulder, isn't it? Okay, extrude that, pull it out, and there's a bicep. Extrude that, and there's the elbow. Extrude that, the forearm. Extrude that, wrist. Extrude that, and there's the hand. Okay, 
the hand will just scale the Y and bring, oh, scale the Z, sorry, S, Z, bring that in. And um, what I should have done is a better job, but I can just sort of bring these faces in by shift selecting and bring these faces in. It's got a massive bicep, look at that. Okay, and maybe bring these faces in. There's, there are much better ways of modeling, but this is the basics. I'm just showing you really simply uh, ways you can uh, make a basic um, person. Okay, uh, now what you'll find now, um, if we go to edge selects, oh, I want, it, uh, um, I want uh, two legs, so I'm I can grab these two, scale them on the y-axis and bring them in, and then I can extrude this face. Um, press E for extrude, and there we go. Oops, I pressed the right mouse button instead of the left, extrude. In fact, it is extruded, but I pressed the right mouse button and it went back to where it was. That's a, that can be a difficulty, actually. If you press extrude, and then you press the right mouse button by accident, and you think, oh, it hasn't extruded, it has, you can actually see there's little faces where those black dots are there, and then you might press extrude again, and you've actually got a group of faces in here which can get really really awkward so try not to do that where you can um, if you press extrude and right click and it goes back to where it is if you've got these you've got an extra face and you can actually pull it out okay that can get awkward and a little bit messy um, if you're not careful okay I'm not quite sure what I've done here oh I haven't actually given him a bum that's the problem <laughs> um, let's get these three uh, pull them down actually that I haven't you see I've got these little dots in here that says that I haven't extruded. I've got an extra extrude there. So there we go. We're back to where we were. Get these three. Pull them down. Extrude. And there's a bum. Okay. I say he. It could be a she at this stage. <laughs> okay. Extrude. And there's the thigh. Extrude. Knee. Extrude. Uh, shin. Calf. Uh, and so on. I'll let you um, go from there. But if I... Well, I'll, I'll go a one per stage further. And there's his ankle and then extrude out the front and there's a foot okay it's very basic very simple and obviously you want to give them thigh muscles so that would come out slightly all sorts yeah okay now uh, there's a really basic person uh, very simple uh, not particularly well done um, but it's a basic person now if you want to start adding detail to that you can obviously go in and start editing these points obviously the wrists are going to be a bit thinner so I'll grab these two scale X uh, excuse me, scale Z, so S, Z, and there's a wrist, yeah, and it's a bit thinner. So you can do that, but what's a bit better, if you want to add more, even more detail, you press Control R, and that will do a loop cut, okay? It will cut in a loop like this, and then it gives you a bit more uh, to play with. You can start thinking, right, well, their, their head should be up here, and this bit should be up here, and you can start building some sort of curves to this person. And you think, actually, uh, I want to do another cut here so I can put some definition on the bicep. So you bring it in, um, and you can see then if I go to the faces, control tab, face, uh, to select the faces and bring that in, you can start seeing uh, now I can start pulling a, a bicep out of this, perhaps put another loop cut in there, select that edge here, and then pull that out. And can you see I've got a bicep? And if, again, very, very basic, but giving you an idea. I probably want to cut this up a little bit here. Then I can pull this uh, line out along here. Oops. I selected the wrong one. If you select one by mistake, but you've got your selection already, and you think, oh, no, I shouldn't have selected that one. I'll have to start again. You just uh, press Shift and right-click on it to get rid of it. OK. And there we go. There's the bicep. And you can start seeing the curve being created. These are silly sized biceps, of course. Um, one other thing that's worth noting, which you'll, this should hopefully give you enough to ca uh, be getting on with, um, and you could obviously create fingers by creating uh, sort of five uh, loop cuts around here and then pulling fingers out and a thumb out this way. Um, but one other thing that might be really useful to you, if you press Control R and cut it down the middle, uh, exactly down the middle, uh, don't uh, press Control R grab your loop and move it, but cut it exactly down the middle. If you do accidentally move, just press the right mouse button. It's, so if I press, I'll do that once more, Control R, click once with your left mouse button and press your right mouse button, it will go to the middle. Okay, a bit confusing there. Um, okay, so that's my loop cut. And if I select the faces down this side, 
um, well, control tab to select faces, right? And if I box select, if you remember, box select B, box select, and I want to grab all these faces. It's only grabbing the ones at the front, which is a bit frustrating. You can change that with this little icon here. That makes the person kind of see through. So if I press A to deselect, or A to select all, but A in this case to deselect, B for box select, and grab these faces here. Right, I've got all the faces now, easy to see through. And press delete and delete the faces. Right, I've got half a person. And then you can come to this really cool thing up here, which is in this spanner, and it modifies objects. So you click on that, add modifier, and you add the mirror. Where the heck is the mirror? Uh, there it is. And it's mirroring it in a weird place at the moment. It's mirroring it in the x-axis, so it's going across the x-axis. You just change that to the y-axis because you want it to mirror in the y-axis. Okay, and there is this fantastic person. Uh, I just click tab there to come out of edit mode. And uh, the more time and more effort you put into these models, the better they become. So you could easily add some more detail, like let's start sorting out his neck, control R. And any changes I make on this side will be mirrored on the other side. So if I start pulling that in, you can see that the neck's been pulled in there. Actually, the neck should be longer, and there's all sorts of problems with this model, but um, you can start to experiment a little, little for yourselves. Um, scale Z, and you can see I'm starting to pull out some sort of face there. But again, uh, this is uh, very basic, just to give you an intro into uh, basic modeling um, of a person. Okay, have a go at that then.